So it's been a little while since we last talked about IRL streamer Neon. Last time we caught up with him, he was losing it all from his deal with Kick to his OF girlfriend and really losing relevance by the day. I guess the bot farms over in India were no longer in service. Less and less of his clips have been going viral, and in general it seems like the fall off has begun. For his ex-girlfriend Sam, you could really say the same. She's been running around acting like a thought. It's like these two were each a cancerous virus that could only spread when their powers combined. I mean, let's be real, you can only go on making this type of scripted content for so long before the kids enter the next grade and move on to Paw Patrol. And recently, it looks like Neon might really be in for a rude awakening, as yesterday he was banned from the Kick platform. And no, guys, the title of this video is not clickbait. I'm here on Google, and when you try to go to Neon's Kick page, boom, this is what you get right now. Oops, something went wrong, a 404 error. And you guys already know that Kick is extremely lenient. I mean, there's people literally doing it all on the stream, if you know what I'm saying. So to get banned from there, you know you have to do some pretty heinous stuff. Like, you really gotta be sick in the head. And so this is apparently the clip that got Neon banned. I gotta blur half the screen because you know I don't show kids on my channel, but... Neon's on some sort of Omega call with this kid and they pretty much just start spazzing out on each other and he makes some disgusting threats towards him. The fuck? I tried to be nice to you, bro. What the fuck up? I'll beat the shit out of you and your fat girlfriend, bro. What the fuck? That fat I'll smack her in her face too, bitch. Now, obviously, the kid should not be talking that way, but... Like I already told y'all, he doesn't appear to be older than, like, 10. And so obviously it's going to be the responsibility of the adult to handle this type of situation maturely, and Neon does the opposite. And I'll got him out of dox your entire family. What's your name? You're not doing shit. What's your name? Up, suck my dick, bro, you a bitch. What's your name? All I need is your first name and you're done. I don't care. You know, I'm an internet know. warrior. What's your name? What's your, what's your first name? What's your first name? Tell me your first name. I'll give you my Emmy. You're 10 years old. I'll give you my Emmy. Please, 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 please. I swear to God, shut the f*** up, bitch. So yes, this man really threatened to dox and then physically violate some kid on a computer. Obviously, this isn't the smartest move, but am I surprised by his actions? Absolutely not. For those of you that don't know, Neon first rose to fame as a kid himself after he was out here faking his death online. And then he would disappear for a while, but he would research on the internet a couple years later. And he was pretty much doing what this kid did to him right here. He would enter random Zoom calls and just start trolling people, start shitting all over them, or at least attempting to. And so in a lot of ways, it's ironic that this behavior seems to be what got him banned. I mean, you can't press a little kid like this, dude. And I guess the Neon was just feeling himself last night. Pause. Apparently, he even exposed Jack Doherty for signing girls to OF contracts when they're apparently underage and under the influence, he says. Hey, Jack, fuck you, bro. I was actually speaking highly of you for the first time. You want to come here and talk? It's all good, bro. I, I just don't care, bro. The crazy thing is, Jack, you would not say that to my face, bro. You're a fucking joke. Let me tell you exactly what Jack does. I don't care. You want to say that? Now I'm going to violate you and expose your script. Here's what you do. I'm going to tell you exactly what you do. You get 17-year-old girls the night before their birthday. You got you buy a $10,000 yacht every time. You get them drunk and they sign a contract 50% of their life every single time. Fuck you. Now that is a very serious allegation to levy against somebody. But with multiple people saying this and Jack Doherty looking like he has that Roblox head, I don't know if I find it too hard to believe. I mean, any girl that's willing to sign their life over to this guy has to be at least a little bit out of their mind. And with these influencers, I wonder if they're just like sitting back during these hangouts, gathering dirt on each other, and then waiting for the most advantageous moment to reveal it to the public. Like, for Neon, it's like, do you really care that he's doing this to these girls, allegedly? Or are you just talking shit to him now because he's trying to trash you? I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't make him a much better person for trying to expose this when it's convenient for him. Now, just some other Neon updates here because it has not been going well for our Indian friend. Apparently, he made a song for the ex-girlfriend after their breakup. And let me just tell you, my guy, do not quit your day job. You are no nov. Like, no one wants to hear you, even with auto-tune. For the ex-girlfriend, she's still trying to ride their wave. I mean, obviously, even less people care about her. She's out here on her YouTube channel posting compilations of their cutest moments and bullshit like that. 
Like, just give it up, girl. It's over. I mean, Neon's been having a wild ride, guys. Here he is getting taken away in handcuffs after they heard that horrible song. They had to arrest him, I guess. Not our Indian compadre, man. Damn. Now, the real reason that they uh, had him handcuffed there was that I guess they rented some sort of car and it was actually a hot or a stolen vehicle. But he wouldn't go to jail or anything like that. Now, another thing that's been new with Neon is that he, like many other influencers, tried the whole boxing thing, but it really only lasted about a week. One, two, three. Nice shit. Give me that seven. Load it first. Load. Little, little quick. Keep your fist tight. That's all you're doing. You're bending I'm sorry, your wrist. Keep it tight. And just place it. Nice. Snatch it up. Oh, there you go. Pull it back. There you go. Seven, three. There you go. Pop, pop. Nah, but hey, man. Shout out to anyone trying to better themselves. He actually doesn't look too horrendous on the pads. Like, I think there's a small possibility he could beat up that kid he was beefing with on the phone call. And of course, during this training, he ended up calling out Aiden Ross for a fight. As some of you may remember, the two have had some beef for the last couple of months because Aiden wasn't f***ing with the ex-girlfriend. And I guess Neon was talking a lot of shit. So they were supposed to fight. Here's how it went the last time they boxed. I mean, it was probably the most pathetic exhibition I've ever seen. Watch your face! No shit. Stop screaming at me, dude! You know, my grandparents' generation had Muhammad Ali. My parents, they had Mike Tyson. And us guys, we have Neon the Great versus Jake Paul. And so apparently they had this fight all set up, but Aiden backed out at the last moment. Of course, Neon took his opportunity to talk shit. I didn't ask for any I was chilling, bro. I was chilling eating chicken, bro. For I was real? chilling. <laughs> Most put this shit on me and locked shit in and said they're going to kill me in the ring. So kill me in the ring. Kill me in the ring, bro. Kill me in the ring. Hurt me, bro. You want to hurt me? Hurt me. Hurt me, bro. Don't just say that on stream and then pussy out, bro, like a bitch. Hurt me then, bro. Do it. And at this point, Aiden Ross really just hates this guy. I mean, here he talks about how some of his other friends could not get a deal on kick because people like Neon are botting all their viewers. But what I will say is this. People that I would say inflate to get better deals on kick, they ruined it for my boys. Because yeah. I was trying to get uh, my, my boys Cheezer. For me too. Cheezer and Convy, and you're an example, the deals. And because... There's a, a streamer that was view bounding heavy. Who's yeah, walking around Universal Studios, yes. <laughs> I couldn't get them a deal. Yeah. And he And that's how it was confirmed that it was Neon because he was doing streams at Universal acting like a clown. Knew that's that I wanted up. to get them a deal. That's and I couldn't up. get them a deal. That's fucked. Because he was botting too much. That's you know what I'm saying? Up. And to me, the thing is, like, if the owner of Kick is onto somebody view botting, why doesn't he just boot him off the platform? Like permanently. Like, I feel like if on YouTube someone was trying to view bot or sub bot or like bot, they would put into that shit really fast. Because it does really compromise the legitimacy of your website. Like, advertisers are paying to show advertisements to actual people. They don't want them being showed to bots. And here's where the situation really escalates. This is actually Aiden's response to Neon talking shit about him backing out of the boxing match. Where he basically says, I made you and I can take you out whenever I want. He said, you call me out, then push it out after claiming you don't want to be my ass because you don't want to give it attention. A week later, you mention me on stream. If you're too busy, you fight him anyway, mouth. Neon, you got to humble yourself, bro. I made your entire career. You're where you are because of me. And Neon, I know about your deal dropping, bro. Humble yourself, bro. I'm not giving you that event. <laughs> Found it. Thank you. W Citrus. I'm not giving you that event, bro. I know you need that event to save that kick deal. I'm not giving you it, bro. You, yeah, I'm not, that's all I'm going to say, bro. Humble yourself, bro. Humble yourself. You're not me. Yeah, I have a feeling that Aiden does not like the way that Neon was talking when he was, you know, at the view botted top. Because during that time, Neon was saying, oh, I'm more relevant than Aiden. I'm bigger on this platform than him. And he was basically talking big shit. And he's hurt now that all of his friends have basically left his side. He lost the cloud chasing girlfriend, and it seems like his life is crumbling around him. Here was his response to Aiden. But yeah, um, there's nothing to worry about. I do want to say that on my end chat. Um, me, me and Eddie are fucking solid, bro. Eddie loves me. I love him. He realizes, like, I realize how much he's done for me. He realizes that, like, bro, we've really been working together. It's a beneficial relationship. Just know, chat, someone who someone who, lo who lost their deal and lost their money wouldn't be isn't about to spend this much money he's about to spend. So Now, to me, Neon is treading very dangerous waters here. Because obviously, like, when it comes to the hierarchy around Kick, Aiden Ross is, like, way up here above everyone else. 
And Neon is down here as a mere peon, like... Ooh, did we just find his new nickname, Peon? <laughs> Seriously though, if Aiden wants Neon gone tomorrow, I likely think that he could do it. Because Aiden is obviously a much bigger part of Kick's master plan. I think he has ownership in the platform. And so obviously they have vested interest in continuing their partnership with him. And these are the types of people that Neon is hanging out right now who are doing this type of shit to him. Do you still stock Aiden Ross? Wait, 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 what's no. What the f is this, bro? This is not how this is supposed to be! Huh? Taping someone to a garage is insane. I remember back in the day, I went to this pool party, and one of my friends, who was never really getting too many girls, I guess he got too excited off the hype and he let them duct tape him to a tree. The secondhand embarrassment I felt that day was just hilarious. It's a good thing that back then, you know, social media was not so prevalent, so there might still be some clips of him out there floating around. And someone else he lost recently was actually that security guard who was always going around overimposing his will and really overstepping his boundaries, not acting very professional at all. You gonna keep letting people talk shit? I air this bitch out right now. We'll see how you feel. Let's see your life go crazy over that. Oh. No, I'm saying I'm gonna murder your mother ass. Keep it up. God Fuck. damn. Murder? Don't look at me, they're good. Look Not at me. murder. Bro, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying like, I'm right here. This is not how a security guard is supposed to act, man. Just be chill in the background. Why are you challenging people? Let's play the game. Bro, I'm saying that. Let's play the game. Yeah, this old man is pretty scary. I mean, I gotta think at his old age, he probably has a kid seeing this shit. Even Ryan Garcia stepped in to say something about his security. I gotta just do it, bro. Yo. Can I talk to you real quick, just me and you? Yeah. yeah. Bro, you look like a bitch, bro. Ooh. Actually? You know I <laughs> Death, but seeking validation from 50 other men is the gayest shit I've ever seen. That's you, facts. The man who pays the bills and employs everybody in that bitch wants to smoke a joint. Smoke a joint, look at the camera, and enjoy yourself. Who gives a fuck, exactly. bro? Facts. Dead ass. That's I'm facts. In the room. Uh, man, go protect the front door. Yo, I am <laughs> here. He's watching. He's watching. So Neon's legitimately scared of this security guard. Ryan's basically saying the security shouldn't have anything to do with what's going on on screen. Like, I'm gonna do whatever I want back here. You go do your job. I mean, this security guard, Leon, okay, it's funny, it was Leon and Neon. Yeah, this fucker was constantly losing his cool. JCV, mute the microphones. Mute the fucking microphones or I will break your camera. I'm not joking. <laughs> Man. Mute the fucking guy's microphones. just insane. It is uh, serious. What did I just ask you to do, bro? This guy is like obviously constantly trying to use his physical stature to intimidate people and one day he's gonna find the wrong one like i would love to see this guy challenge someone who's actually his size i mean he was out here just straight up being disrespectful slapping cigarettes out of homeless men's hands i mean this guy was really feeling like he was the star Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And so eventually Neon had to announce that the security guard got fired. He really did have my best interests at heart, bro, and I really, really appreciate him. And I know one day everything's gonna work out, but for right now we're just we're 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 um you know. And sadly he's not having much better luck with the ladies, as the only women who seem to really want to be around him are just more clout chasing internet girls. And should we really be surprised? I mean we saw what he did for that other chick's career and so they're all looking at him like they're a bunch of piranhas and he's just really like an injured little goldfish trying to enter the sea i'm sorry you I'm had sorry, to be reminded Neon. i'm sorry, I'm sorry you had Neon. to be reminded Neon. reminded of what i'm sorry you had oh. to be reminded of yeah. yeah what is this are you really sad yeah is this the no 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 Nah, I can't even go any farther, bro. These chicks would do anything for clout these days. But apparently he's trying to come through with the rebrand, okay? He says, I love y'all. No more lies. And I guess he could feel the clout leaving his veins. The black Spider-Man suit was coming off. And so now he's saying he's back with the OF chick, okay? They made a business decision, I suppose. You guys want to know if I'm still with Sam? And the answer to that is, um, the answer to that is, um, uh, yes, I am. You got your answer. You got what you wanted to hear. Um, 
I am with her. So I'm sure they might return to torment our screens one day very soon. I mean, the thing is, guys, he could have had a long-standing relationship with Aiden Ross. I mean, I know a lot of you do not like Aiden, but obviously he knows how to garner a big audience and it was right up Neon's wheelhouse. He could have taken him right to the top and like we discussed earlier, he's stuck being peon, you know, Neon peon. So it looks like it's going to be rough for our guy, you know, from here on out. I would say that he has likely hit his peak when it comes to his relevance online. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this down below. Do you think that his banning will last longer than like 24 hours? I mean, he did say some pretty nasty shit, but it is kick. Either way, y'all know it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. And some of the DGen streamers out here need to be covered. So I'm out. Peace.